do you have any tricks to open a stuck bottle cap? So let's use an example here. You got a Noodler's bottle, you got a, I don't know, a Jerobon, you got a Kalkan Edelstein, something like that. So what happens over time with these, and I found this to be with the Roshizuku actually more than most of my other inks. Um, but anyway, so what happens, you use the yank, cool, you know, you throw the bottle around, whatever, hopefully not throw it around, but you know what I mean. Um, and what happens is you get ink that gets on the top of the, the lid and, uh, and you close it up and over time it can dry out and kind of act like almost like a glue that holds the bottle on there and can, ooh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I almost opened it up with it sideways like this. That would have been good entertainment, um, but uh, been a bit messy. So if you are opening it and you've used it and it's sat for a while and you know, your cap can get kind of crusty and you gotta open it off and kind of clean it off, just wipe it off with water or whatever. Um, so for me, what I've found to be helpful, um, if you have a Goulet grip, I wouldn't buy a Goulet grip just for this purpose because it's really meant to pull nibs which are smaller in diameter, but it can work for a bottle. So you can get a decent wrapping, it'll get about halfway around an Edelstein uh, cap and it can give you enough grip to really get it going. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, another thing that I've used is um, this grippy stuff. You know, it's the kind of stuff that you line your, your kitchen drawers with, or you can, um, you know, they have like jar opening, you know, things like this. It's just basically a grippy material. That's all you're looking for. That can give you a good grip to be able to turn it. Um, if you use like sometimes latex gloves in themselves, rubber bands can work, especially fat ones. Um, a bicycle tire, like an inner tube, not tire, but a bicycle inner tube, if you have one of those handy, um, which if you're a cyclist like me, who's also kind of a pack rat, you hang on to your old, your old bicycle tubes because you think you're going to repair them one day, but you never will. Um, so there's that. There's, you know, basically anything to grip, you know, any type of glove that you have, like sometimes a glove, like the yellow gloves you use for like cleaning around your house, that can work really well too. That's about it. You just need to get a good grip on it and then yank the thing. That's, that's literally about all I have to say about that question. Um, some people run like warm water under the cap and do it. I've never really heard of that being a super successful thing, but I guess maybe it's worked for some people enough to where if you're endlessly frustrated, you could try that. It's not like it's frozen or something that we're, waters are gonna do it, but you know, it could be something for you to consider. The only thing is if you're gonna do that, run water over it and you have a bottle that's like got a cardboard or a, a paper label on it, you don't wanna get the label wet, so I wouldn't do that. But for a bottle like Edelstein, it's, you know, it's a printed logo on there and it's not gonna matter if it gets wet. Cool.